Okay, we have uh, had a staff meeting and a staff uh, formation where we, every year uh, the doctors here of the center are trained. Uh, and uh, we did see a lot of um, interesting topics. Um, you, as a physician, have seen that uh, regularly patients come with some problem like uh, look I have an operation or uh, a woman is pregnant or uh, a person travels a lot, they have a jet lag and what to do, how to adapt the hormone treatments and uh, also nutritional treatments to that situation. Well, um, basically here in our center we do have um, um, papers that explain everything, whatever you have to do, that when you are, have a surgery, uh, thyroid hormones have to be decreased for several days, uh, and exactly which time period is necessary. We have some very precise papers uh, that anabolic hormones like testosterone have to be increased, and in what measure, how many percentage you need to increase to really have very good effects when you need to do with melatonin and sleep pattern when there's a jet lag, but not only melatonin, there is at least about 13 other different points that have to be adapted for good uh, jet lag uh, adaptation. Um, so these are papers easy uh, that uh, our physicians give to the patients with explanation but then the patient doesn't forget that explanation and uh, I must say patients are really very happy of receiving those papers. Uh, even also anesthesiologists for surgery, at least they know uh, what has to be done. So basically it really makes the treatment safer. Uh, you save time also with these papers. Um, um, and your explanations don't have to repeat it twice because everything's on all those papers. So we saw a lot of those different documents, what you need to do, how to adapt hormone treatments, was a myocardial infarction, for example. Very important what to do later on uh, <coughs> when there's myocardial infarction. Thyroid you have usually to be decreased a little or even a lot. It depends on the patient. Um, the, uh, other hormones have to be increased. So really it is uh, very interesting because these situations are not so rare uh, 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 coming in our consultation. And I must say that the, the physicians were very enthusiastic because it really helps them uh, to do better their job. All these papers and information is available for you if you come in passive assistance because basically we have a very good training team here and if you come for three days for example you will get a little booklet with many of those different situations that are, will be helpful papers you can give to your patients. Um, the passive assistance uh, that we do is for many physicians like um, uh, a discovery, a discovery of a lot of how we work, how, how far we can work and how, how um, happy the patients are with the treatment, how complicated it's also. Gives you a good view, of it. you have a lot of clinical examination, physical signs of endocrine deficiency and nutritional deficiency, you will know them much better. Um, it's, I, I always advise to come for three days because that's that, that package, you also receive the papers, but it's also those days that are uh, necessary uh, to train a, a day is, 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 is good to get a first impression, but if you can come for three days or packages of three days, I think you will be much more happy about it and you will be probably amazed of what can be done and what you can learn and what you can do with your patients safely and efficiently.